I want to maximize it. Shoot a video for it. Do what you have to do, but just max it. Like, use that as the hook to get the public interested in you. And keep in mind, man, if the single was that easy to put together, we'd all be doing it. Right? We just had this conversation, uh, you know, myself and my boss, and, you know, we're looking for a single for one of our artists, and it's like, as good as this artist is, just a, if a single was that easy to pull off, everybody would be doing it. So just give it away, but just maximize it. Shoot a video for it. Make sure your followers know about it. I mean, just really, you know, run the gamut on it. Man. I, I, and I said this last year when we did this is that my our, my vision for a single, I call it the three C's, triple C's. <laughs> All right, is that if the song, if you take it to the club, if you take it to your car, you take it to the crib. And it translates in all three environments, it's a fucking hit. Yeah. The, it, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If the record plays, if you can take it home, and play it in your house, and everybody that's in your crib likes the record and identifies with it, you take it in your car, you can drive to and from wherever you're going, and you can listen to this record over and over again. And then you take it to a club, and it plays in the club, and everybody who doesn't know the record is dancing and getting into the record by the time before the song is over, that's a hit. Chances are that record's a hit. Then you do what Riggs is saying. Now you say, okay, I've got a record that I, I feel translated. Now I gotta put everything behind it. Put everything and all your resources behind it. Go out, get your whole crew together. Don't fight, don't do none of that. Just show strength in numbers. Everybody throw the shirts on, everybody go and represent your movement. Because if you go out there and you do it professionally, and you don't get into any real drama and everything, believe it or not, everybody's gonna wanna jump on your movement. Everybody's gonna wanna follow you. You know what I'm saying? Then you get the record and you start performing and you're doing all the free shows. Now, everybody really wants to follow your movement because they're hearing good music, they got a good show, and nobody got beat up. <laughs> now, let's keep, hey, very let's keep it 100. That's very important. As much as dudes is running around talking about murder, death, killer, gangster, this and that, I'm telling you, if you start beating people up at your shows, nobody's going to like you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to like you. Nobody wants to go to the show and get hurt, bro. Drake is, is the best example because when you look at Drake, he came out, he had like, you the best, and then he followed that, I can't right now remember, with like three more singles. Gave away the mixtape, then got the mixtape blew up so much, got signed. Then they, they, then Universal put out the same songs, worked those singles, they crushed radio, and then put out those same songs on the EP, and it sold. The same music he gave away was so hot, it actually sold. I think he sold like 400,000 of those yeah. EP. I mean, it was like free money. Um, yeah. And then I think, I know a lot of you were wondering, like, well, what if the producer won't give me the record or whatever, right? I think I'm sort of hearing that. Talk to the producer, you know, make a contract. Like, look, I'm putting this out now. When I get signed, you'll get paid for it. If he doesn't, like, show him what you got going on. If he doesn't want to comply, fuck it. Bring the record to someone else. Have them reproduce the record. I'm telling you. Yeah. All right. Um, one other question is, if you guys could give your advice to these people out here, where would you...